Hi guys, I'm Steffen, and in this video I will show you some useful tricks for Simatic Notifier. In today's video, I'd like to show you a few basic features in Notifier for Mindsphere. With the help of Zap, push messages from machines can be sent directly to employees' smartphones. This helps, for example, to detect machine failures or an empty material container more quickly. In this way, downtimes can be greatly reduced because, as always, most of the time something happens exactly when there is no one around. As you can see, I am already logged into the launchpad of our DigiDemo Mindsphere tenant. And from here, I switch directly to the Notify app. The home page usually shows all the active notifications that are currently pending. In my case, there are no notifications right now. But to see how this can look, I quickly simulate a few machine errors in the background. And there come the messages already. There are three different alarm categories. You can see information, warning and alarm, which roughly define the priority of messages. On the notification details, you can see when the notification was triggered and to which location or better said machine this notification belong. In our case, all notifications originate from our DigiDemo machine. Now it gets interesting in the feed originating app. Here it is signaled whether another app besides the Notifier has triggered a notification. Notifier can be used to define so-called notification rules, which can be used to monitor non-preprocessed machine parameters, such as the temperature value of a motor for example. Furthermore, I have the option to accept the notifications via the accept button. This way, the notification is logged to me and all other users of the app can see that I will take care about these notifications. On the other hand, I can also see that other colleagues take care of notifications. This ensures that no notification is forgotten. If data needs to be pre-processed, aggregated or accounted for example with Performance Insight, these apps can access the push notification service of Notifier via an API interface in the background. I show you how to set this up in another video. Just now a notification came in. This time from Performance Insight, telling me that a defined KPI limit has been exceeded. The three simulated demo messages have disappeared in the meantime, because I have reset the error bits and the messages have resolved themselves automatically. If you are wondering what happened to the resolved messages, you can find them via the Archive tab in the left side menu. All messages that have ever occurred and been solved are archived here. Messages can be solved manually by clicking on Accept or automatically reset, e.g. because the engine temperature has stopped back into the normal range. In the Settings tab, the current usage information can be viewed on the basis of which the monthly usage fee is calculated. In the user information, I can see my assigned user roles, in addition to the language settings for the app. This is important, because only admins are authorized to define new notification rules. It is also possible to manage the connected smartphones. I will also show you how to connect a smartphone to Notifier in a separate video. The entry Manage Notification Rules is used to define the actual notifications, including the triggers. How that works out, I show you in a separate video as well. Depending on the size of the machine park and the notifications created, quite a lot of notifications can accumulate in one day, some of which are not even relevant for my area of responsibility. In the menu, in the menu item Manage My Notifications, I can create my own filters. For example, I can specify that I only receive messages of the alarm type or only those messages that come from a specific machine. Using the preview button, the filters can be applied directly to the current message list. In order to apply the configured filter to the notifications overview on the start page, 
the slider in the upper left corner must be set to My. Assuming I now have to fill in for one of my colleagues, or I don't have any active notifications at the moment, I can deactivate my personal filters by switching to All and see all pending notifications again. I simulate now again briefly in the background a machine error, so that I get like at the beginning of the video three demo messages. Since I now have the slider on all, I see all three messages. If I change back to my, only all alarms are displayed as previously configured. Thank you for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.